Being friends with the face in the mirror. Samantha is a perfect friend. She always supports her friends. Alice wrote about me. I was shocked when I read this. Was she really talking about me? I couldn't believe anyone would write such a positive thing about me, especially Alice. We have had a lot of arguments since we became friends. Surely she must know all my faults. When I look in the mirror, it's hard for me to see anything positive in myself. Rather, there are many things that I don't like about myself. I'm not just talking about my big nose and bad skin. I've done lots of foolish things that I'm not proud of. I've lied to my parents and sometimes stretched the truth with my friends. I've also started rumors about people, even Alice. Last year, I caused some problems between Alice and her boyfriend, Danny. I started a rumor that she had gone on a date with another boy. However, this wasn't true. I secretly liked Danny and was jealous that he wanted to go out with Alice, not me. Alice never found out that I had started the rumor. Looking back on what I had done, I felt guilty. One day, my homeroom teacher, Mr. Roberts, had our class do a special activity. He made each of us stand in front of the class one by one and talk about ourselves, our interests, family, friends, and future dreams. While the person was speaking, the rest of the students were asked to write down one or more positive things about him or her. When it was my turn to speak, I felt very nervous thinking about what my friends would write about me. There was Amy, who knew that I had started the rumor about Alice, and Dave, who caught me cheating on a math test earlier that week. Lauren was in the class too. Who once asked me where I got the money for my new shoes? I told her that I had lied to my mother that I needed money to buy some books. Most of all, there was Alice. She had the worst time last year because of the rumor that I had started. Considering all these, I was really on the hot seat. Could any of them think of even one good thing to write about me? After everyone had taken their turns to speak, Mr. Roberts collected every note. This time, we were told to write down what we think about ourselves. Then he gave us the notes back to let us see what we had written about each other. I didn't dare to see what Mr. Roberts had handed me at first. As I finally read them, however, I couldn't believe my eyes. The notes were full of glowing comments about me. Two said, I'm very friendly. One said, I have nice eyes. Three said, I'm funny. One said, I have a nice smile. Two said, I'm a good listener. One even said, I'm the prettiest girl in the class. My face turned red as I read this. I'd never heard such a thing before. And then there was Alice's note. It said that I was a perfect friend and always supported her. Reading what she had written about me, I recalled the time when we were close friends. She was always there for me when I was going through hard times. She listened to my problems and tried to encourage me with friendly words. Whenever I needed a shoulder to cry on, she used to be the first person I could depend on. I felt very sorry for what I had done to her. I realized how badly I had treated her. At the same time, I was grateful to her for always being a good friend to me. After reading all my friends' comments, I looked down at what I had written about myself. I would be prettier if my nose were smaller. I'm a good swimmer, but I wish I were faster. I hadn't been able to think of any nice things about myself. To be more exact, I hadn't even dared to think about the question Is there anything good about me? My friends had made much nicer comments about me. Thanks to them, I realized that I was a better person than I thought. Since then, I've been trying to see the good in myself, too. I hope that I can see someone that I'd like to be friends with next time when I look in the mirror.